like either the end of the bike or the run. On your mark. There we go, ladies and gentlemen. Look at my big chair before they hit the water there. We are there. All into Okanagan Lake right now. Number 57 from the U.S., Debbie Sullivan. Number 53 from the U.S., Emma Garrard. And for the under 20... On your mark. here at the line. 
And a second placer, the man who's been the last uh, winner for the last three, four years, it is Ruzafa who's come through there. So a great job. Congratulations, these guys. So great time. We've got 2.09 on the clock. And uh, congratulations from New Zealand, who's about to close on in here. What a performance for him. That's Carl Smith, the under-23 champion, therefore, as well. Melanie McQuaid, multiple worlds going all the way back right to the beginning in uh, Maui. And she's had huge wins there, of course. There she is, out the line, taking the women's title. And that's a massive 234-35. She was second out the swim. She was third in the world. Just second place for Great Britain amongst the elite women. Absolutely awesome stuff there. Uh, she is through the line. And uh, don't forget, uh, she has raced before at Worlds. And we, uh, she was seventh last year, by the way, at the World Championship. So we're in this job. And she made up an awful lot of ground. She was 10th out of the swim. And another finisher. This is uh, in junior division. This will be there for a second position for Bridget Thurnison. Now he has three times in the last three years. He has taken... Mexico! For a moment I thought I was going to be left out of the medals, I was running fourth. But once we hit the flat section, I, I felt awesome. They were in mean, a really good cadence, a really good rhythm. And, and I began gaining uh, time on him. He was still like 35 seconds ahead. But on the way back, everything went just so smooth. And as I told you, every little detail, like running through the locks, through the water, everything went well. And uh, I was able to see him close at the last couple of meters and be able to close the gap. Yeah, I'm happy with my race. Um, I fight a lot until the finish line, so I'm happy for this. I'm not happy because in uh, in the exit of the swimming, I I find my front wheel disinflate and I had to stop to to put a CO2 air. So I lose 13 seconds, 30 seconds that I need in the in the run. But taking taking off this, I'm happy with this. So obviously it's quite a long race to me, um, being 19 it's still quite a long way, um, so I just knew I had to pace myself and the bike took it out of me so the bike was pretty hard and the start of the run was pretty steep so I just had to pace myself and just keep ticking over it and not depleting my energy too much and then I came out of the um, technical section out of the out of the lake um, with Ben Allen and I got back onto the road and I just um, tried to put the hammer down and just um, opened up a huge gap with a uh, little gap, sorry, which I was really happy about, yeah. I said to my to my coach Kelly before this is that this was the world championships course I'd always prayed for back when I was actually focused on the off-road stuff so I knew it was really going to be a good course for me and um, and then when I went out there it was just like one of those magical days where I was just having so much fun um, nothing hurt and I was just like loving it had a fairly good swim, I let out the water. Um, the sun was really in our eyes, so it was a little bit confusing as to the direction we were going, so I had to take my goggles off a little bit, and then all the girls crashed in to be from behind. But the swim seemed to go well, and uh, I, I was lucky to push hard initially on the bike and work with Melanie. Um, that was really good, and we pulled away from the rest of the field. Um, and then as soon as we hit the single track, Melanie was really strong today, and I, I had to ride my own race and go at my own pace. But uh, I love the course here, I love the technical stuff and uh, I did drop my chain on the bike, we'd l lost a little bit of time but um, it didn't get too flustered with it and carried on and I knew once I'd got into the run I just had to hold my position. Melanie was a little bit far ahead but uh, I'm stoked for second, I was desperate for, a, I think this is my sixth ITU World Championship and I'm desperate for a medal so I've achieved it today, I'm really happy. I was thinking maybe like a top 10 place would be my result or I really wanted to have a place under the top 10. So now with the third place, I'm, well, I never saw that.